Welcome to Field Trip Friday, and this week is a special week. We're at the Thunder Bay Martial Arts Studio with Mr. Dan Shackman, and he is the president and chief instructor of the studio. Dan, thank you for having us. Great. You're welcome to be here. Yeah, really. appreciate it. Melissa, I know you're ready for a good I'm time ready. as well. <laughs> but we're really interested into how long you've been teaching martial arts in this area because we're ready for what you know, you've been doing for a while. Okay, well, uh, our school's been here for 21 years, and uh, we teach classes in four counties, the four county area. Area. And what exactly do you offer here? Uh, here we teach uh, Korean karate and we teach Japanese judo and we teach uh, modern fencing and uh, ancient weapons. And what is the difference between judo and karate? So I can show you, I should give you a quick demonstration so you can tell them apart. Uh, I need a partner here for a second. Bring him on in. Okay, so you guys come out here. Okay. You'll be here. Okay, so this is karate. So this is what karate would look like if uh, you had to apply it. Okay, so he goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't mess with Dan Shackman. No, not Mr. Dan Shackman. <laughs> okay, so now that's uh, what you, uh, karate looks like. Judo is completely different. I'm going to show you, we want to show you what judo looks like. Come on down this way. Okay, gentlemen and ladies, line up. So can anybody come in here and learn this? Anybody can come and learn this. Our, Even us? Our, our youngest student is like uh, five. Our oldest student is 82. Wow. That's so uh, and we'll teach you a couple of real simple techniques. And I think when we're done, you're going to really like uh, what, you got, what you have All picked right, up. Let's okay, let's do it. Let's do it. To get class started, we were put through what Mr. Shackman called the warm-up. Needless to say, we came in not knowing what we were getting ourselves into. Go around on the green. <laughs> now you gotta switch. I, no way. So. There you go. Yeah, I was good. Come on, you hit the gym, right? Warm up? No. This might as well have been the workout. <laughs> okay, grab your partner, wheelbarrow him around the green one time. Oh. <laughs> oh God. We went through a number of different exercises meant to simulate martial arts situations. A strong body and core is an essential part of martial arts. So it's common practice to consistently work on them to increase one's stability and balance. As we continue to move through class, some real life situations were next on the list. You need to be prepared for any situation in martial arts. So for my training exercise, I had to learn how to defend myself against a knife attack. After all was said and done, we had to be put through a tradition at Thunder Bay Martial Arts. As first time students, we're required to fight everybody in class. Yeah, that's right. Alyssa and I were in for a full-on battle royale. In 
the old days, everybody wore a white belt. The floors were made of dirt. And so the more you would come and practice and roll around, the dirtier your belt would get. And eventually your belt would get black when you were here long enough. And that's where the tradition of the black belt come from. Cascade, great. Good job. Thank you, you it. look like a wrestler to me. <laughs> you look like you have had wrestling before. <laughs> Thank and you, you, you look quite the athlete. Oh, no. well. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, this was an amazing workout. We're both sweating, we're in a lot of pain, but it was a great experience. Yeah, I agree for sure. I think I got a couple rug birds on my body, but just with one class, I've already learned a lot within martial arts. Absolutely, and this place has been open for 21 years. If you want to learn a lot about martial arts, this is the place to be. Agree. So make sure you join us next week on our next adventure on Future Friday. Yeah.